Hello everybody, welcome to our fourth video on Ramsey theory, and today I'd like to generalize Ramsey's theorem. Now, the generalization states that uh, R, N1, N2, N3, all the way up to NK is finite for all N sub I, you know, in the natural numbers N greater than or equal to 2. Now, right off the bat, we've kind of introduced uh, a, a new, some new notation. Now, what does it mean to say, uh, you know, what is R, N1, N2, N3, I'll go up to NK? So, uh, R, N1, N2, I'll go up to NK, is going to be defined as the minimum number of vertices Q, such that given any K, any K coloring on the complete graph of Q vertices, then we're guaranteed a monochromatic subgraph in color 1 uh, on N1 of the vertices, or a monochromatic subgraph in color 2 on N2 of the vertices, and so forth up until uh, you know, a monochromatic subgraph uh, color K on NK of the vertices. Okay, so let's get to proving that these Ramsey numbers are finite. Okay, so what we want to do is uh, proceed by induction on the number of colors K. Now our base case is uh, is when we uh, have a two coloring. Now R N1 and 2 is finite. Uh, just see the previous video. Uh, that's, uh, that's just Ramsey's theorem. For our induction hypothesis, we assume that Ramsey numbers uh, using k minus 1 colors are finite. Now for our induction step, what we want to show is that the Ramsey numbers using all k colors you know, are going to be finite. And so, uh, to show this, it's going to be sufficient to show that the Ramsey number in k colors is going to be less than or equal to r n1 n2 n k minus 2, and then the k minus 1th term is uh, r n k minus 1 n k. Now, uh, there's only k minus 1 terms here, or k minus 1 colors, which means by our induction hypothesis, our right side is finite. And um, because our right side is finite, if we can show that this inequality holds, that means that our Ramsey numbers on k colors must also be finite. Well, we know that our right side is finite, so let's, let's assign it a value, say, t. What I want to do is consider the complete graph on t vertices. So we're going to consider kt. And um, what I want to do with kt is I want to give it an edge coloring using all k of these colors. Now once we've assigned it an arbitrary edge coloring, what I want to do is temporarily become red-green colorblind. And so what that means is that um, any edges that are red and any edges that are green, they suddenly both appear uh, to be red edges. And so all of a sudden we have, instead of a k coloring on kt, we instead have a k minus 1 coloring on kt. Now, because there's t vertices, that means that one of these k minus 1 cases holds. Now, if any of the first k minus 2 cases hold, then that satisfies uh, the first, uh, one of the first k minus 2 cases over on this side, and we're finished. Now, what if instead none of these first k minus 2 cases held, and the k minus first case held? Now at this point, that means that we're guaranteed a monochromatic subgraph in kind of this blended colorblind color. Um, we're guaranteed a monochromatic subgraph on R n k minus 1 n k vertices. And it's at this point, when we're focusing on the subgraph, that we regain our vision. And suddenly, um, instead of having a monochromatic subgraph on this many vertices, we now have a two coloring on this complete subgraph. Now, because we, uh, because we have a two coloring on this many vertices, well, by, by definition of this uh, Ramsey number, that means that we have either uh, a monochromatic subgraph, which is actually red, on nk minus one of those vertices, or a monochromatic subgraph on nk of those vertices that is colored green, our kth color. And so if, any, if either of those two cases hold, well, that satisfies 
these, uh, the respective cases over on this side of the inequality. And hence, uh, we've shown that uh, uh, the, our Ramsey numbers on k colors are going to be less than this finite number t. And that concludes our proof.